When reports filtered in on the resignation of Pope Benedict XVI, many were worried and wondered if he would take steps to resign. The Pope still seemed energetic and mentally sharp. Even though he was said to have fallen when he attended a Vatican Synod on introducing the faith to Catholics who have grown distant from the Church. Most Reverend Dr. Stephen Dami Mamza is however of the view that the Pope's resignation was not shocking but to enable him rest because of his ill health. He's already advanced in age and also his health is, uh, he feels that he will not be able to perform uh, because of his health and so these are genuine reasons. He has given you know, that he, and he reflected on it deeply. So it is not something that is actually new. And it's not something that he just woke up and then decided that he will resign. And it's not because of any pressure and not because of any problem. But it's for the. He also said that the resignation of Pope Benedict has no implication on its members because the Catholic Church is set up on grounds that one must not die while in office. The, uh, the Pope resigning is not something that is new in the history of the church. In the first place, it is there, there is a provision for it in the Code of Canon Law. Uh, canon uh, uh, 322, paragraph 2, says that if the Pope wants to resign, he can enter his resignation when he deems it fit. And he can only make it public, and he doesn't need anybody's consent before he will resign. And uh, we have also had Pope resigning in the history of the church. Pope Gregory XII was uh, one of those that resigned in the year 1415, which is about six, uh, 598 years ago. Uh, he also resigned, and there was nothing wrong with that. The Pope's decision sets the stage for a conclave to elect a new Pope before the end of March. The Cardinal Electoral College that is legible for the election of a new Pope must be below the age of 80. These 17 cardinals, cardinals are the ones that will meet at the conclave in the uh, Sistine Chapel in the Vatican. In fact, the Holy Father may not even be there for the election because he has already exceeded that age. So they are the ones that will elect the, the new Pope. You know, the Pope is not an African Pope or European Pope or Asian Pope or um, Oceania Pope. Pope is a Pope of the Universal Church. From where which country he comes from, it doesn't matter. The most important thing, we will have a Pope by the grace of God. And the Pope is going to be one of the uh, 117 cardinal electors. So there are only 117 cardinal electorate all over the world. 61 from Europe, 19 from Latin America, 14 from North America, 11 from Africa, 11 from Asia, and 1 from Osonia.